After years of NBA 2K telling us what's not possible, I issued a challenge. Designers, creatives in the NBA 2K community, let's see if you can outperform the NBA 2K devs themselves. The Kid Designs on Twitter says, my concept first showing ranked and unranked modes and maybe a new mode that could be in it called Power Game. Games with abilities usually do good on Apex and Valorant, so why not? And what we got here, oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gave people a week to send in submissions of ideas and concepts they had for NBA 2K22. Okay, okay, okay. You probably regret putting AD on the cover right about now, but it looks clean. Introducing NBA 2K22, unibrow demon Anthony Davis. NBA 2K22, this is my NBA 2K21 concept submission. I'm actually familiar with the kid. I think he uh, designed some thumbnails for AMP, so I know of him. Oh my god. Do you see the level of detail? <laughs> <laughs> New York, ATL, Chicago, Florida. They got the different game modes like the cages, knockout, power game, playground. Oh my god, bro. What the f this is the first submission, god damn it. I know like NBA Live 10 was the first game where there was some creativity introduced. Where instead of being thrown into a mode, you were thrown into a court where you can play around for a little bit before you got into the menus. But part of me misses the simplicity that was a menu. You just click join game and you wait and your game is joined. There's so many loading screens before you get into the game that you're on with NBA 2K. This right here is refreshing. Power game. This game mode, we have brought our version of Game Breakers from the game NBA Street Volume 2. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Just simple stuff like this. Even if you threw it onto like a 3v3 prime, do you see this? You're playing 2K in the background is a subway and you get the little New York City vibes going on. Who wouldn't want to kick back and play like this, man? The boxing arena 1v1 one court rules. This is tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. Having a, like a 1v1 arena in the shape of an octagon is fire. And the crowd in the back. Who are we kidding right now, guy? This is the first submission. There are thousands. There were thousands of submissions, guys. This is one. The hood. I like it. Graffiti over the wall. Nice aesthetic. You see the smoky backgrounds. A, a, a way too clean dumpster. We're gonna need some more garbage on the dumpster. The Volcano Island is a new map you can play in. You see the four different parks you can play on. Oh my God. Jesus, do you see the level of detail right here? Oh my God. The underwater stage that Ronnie was talking about back in 2K17. Can you imagine they did something like this? This would be so Get hard. We got Venice Beach. This is a classic. There's no fences in Venice Beach, so we're gonna have to remove the fences, but we're gonna have to up the prize amounts. I set up some prizes. I said first place gets 750, second place gets 250, third place gets a hundo. The purpose of this is not really to make money, but it's just an incentive, I guess, for people to jump in. But man, am I blown away from this one submission? We haven't even gotten into anything else. Okay, could I breathe? Calm down, Asian. Whoo. Being able to play in different cities is not a new idea. We've seen it done in basketball games in the past. But man, is it a great idea that needs to be revisited. It needs to be. Hey, the kid, if that's not a top five submission, I swear I don't know what is. Oh, we got Toasted! Hey, uh, Toasted was my longtime designer. He won last year when I did a similar event. Uh, so, oh my God, I can't even do Toasted right now. I'm not ready for what Toasted has to offer right now. I need to work up to something like this, man. Okay, Visually Drop sent in this submission here. He said, first ever concept for the main menu. It sucks, but I just tried. I don't expect to win this. It was for fun. See what I can experience and stuff. Oh my God, Vince Carter. We haven't had Vince Carter on a 2K cover, have we? Forge your own dynasty with the rosters. You, okay, for technical reasons, I don't think this right here is possible because when it actually gets printed, it won't look like this. RDC World Burner sends in this one. I got you, agent, here you go. Hey, isn't it crazy how GTA just attempts things? Like they put tennis and basketball into GTA 5 for no reason. They literally assigned a developer to just implement a sport into their otherwise non-sport third person action game. OCS YouTube sends in this one, says took me over 20 hours to make, hope you enjoy. And here we have an image of the NBA 2K17 Sunset Beach. <laughs> this is disappointing right here. Cause this is the same parks of 2K16, just a different theme in the background. Uh, Keyshawn sends in this, he says, this is my entry, hope you like it. Uh, okay, anytime they send you another link to click on. Okay, all right, let's brace ourselves, fellas. NBA 2K22 concept, park concept. Okay, this is my concept for Agents 2K22 park concept contest. Made entirely in Blender 3D with some color correction 
and composition work in Photoshop. I also designed a concept cover for the game, including mock-ups. Let me put into perspective what he just said. He said he didn't just throw this together right here in Photoshop, what I'm about to show y'all. He said he got into a 3D program and built the buildings and the courts and the arenas and just touched it up in Photoshop. That's a different level. I used to do work in 3DS Max and Cinema 4D. I know how complicated it can be to do level design. That's why I gave up. It was incredibly difficult for me to finish. Just learn, just learning is incredibly difficult. All right, I'm ready. <sighs> okay, here is the first photo of the par. I'm getting serious Denver vibes right here. Actually, no, there's sand right there. What kind of vibes is these? We got sand, water, and mountains. We got them all, fellas. Here we got a Kobe mural on the billboard. 2K is probably gonna replace that with the advertisement. We got the 1v1 courts on the bottom right. The 3v3 courts, oh my God. You created this? Got into a 3D program. I don't mean he didn't go on Photoshop and put up 2D images and put them in 3D space. He literally built this. One guy built this. He had one week to do it. I'm sick of hearing what's not possible. I get it. Courts have to be optimized so people don't fall through the map. It's more complicated than just putting up graphics. It has to be actually playable. I understand. But in one week, one individual did this right here. Hey, I'm highly impressed right now, man, that you went into the effort of going into a 3D program to put this right here together. Aesthetically, it looks pleasing. I'm floored right now. I'm literally out of words, man. This, Mikel sent this one and he said, here is my design. Work day, night on this very proud of how it came up and <laughs> we got some roblox in the building ladies and gentlemen is this roblox all right let's get to toasted man the goats man he helped design for me for over like three four years uh, i'm happy he decided to submit something today man i'm very happy nba 2k22 forge your future nba 2k22 my player builder we got the point guards the power forward shooting guards centers and the small forwards choose your position your first name and your last name which hand you want to rock in your number all right you like to see it the aesthetic i'm getting a good vibe from this right now your mid-range shot three point by the way damian Lillard, the game he had yesterday was just marvelous we heard your problem with the city so we decided to 2k would never admit to a problem but I, okay we'll go with the toaster but 2k wouldn't ever admit they made a problem come on now welcome to the 2k resort okay oh my god can you imagine all their stores were like in a mall that'd be hard the nba store we got swags here <laughs> it's looking like a resort man oh my god is that would be a brilliant idea if the stores are right here within here right here boom they're in the building you could have like 3v3 prime arenas on the penthouse right here on the on the roofs right here you could even have them by the sand since it's a resort you can have one within the forest oh my god <laughs> the training facility is up the escalator. I'm assuming this is the, the penthouse my court. You get you get serious views out the penthouse my court. You can just practice. Hopefully it's full size this year with good camera angles. Seems to be a small thing that 2K went from not caring about to just completely eliminating an NBA 2K21. There's no my court. You can go to the rental court now, but there's no more my courts. My courts were never a bad idea. It was just poorly implemented. Holy, and I'm assuming this is the 3v3 prime right now. We have the bleachers in the back, the serious water vibes. You can play with your friends customizable courts. I like the vibe, seriously, palm trees and all. Hey, Toasted, man, this is highly impressive right here. How you continue to one-up yourself is beyond me. This right here is truly imp impressive work. Something's telling me there's gonna be more than three winners because we're not even halfway through the submissions yet and I'm already blown away. Next up, we got Phantom, not the one I know, Phantom World. And here we got Mascot, the Benny the Bull mascot. This is actually giving me NBA 2K21 Next Gen vibes because it's within a city and it's on a rooftop loading into the park future to the future this is gonna be park after dark vibes really this is clean i like it this is it it took me four hours to make this the nba 2k22 park hey this is like 40 foot nets man who's hooping in these this looks like a super smash bros level really <laughs> Hey, Boogie, hey, I like the creativity, man. You went you went to work in GIMP or Notes, wherever you made this. Uh, YMACGFX says, the 2K Island will have one big area to play in and the small speed boats will take you places such as the 2K Mall with all the stores, the Jordan Rec Center, the Antioch Stage, and the Event Tent. A new addition to the park will be the 1v1 court. Island, 3v3s, we got the twos, we got the ones, the 2K Mall with the boats. Can you imagine they ever did something like this? I would, it would be nice if there was a way to teleport because i don't want to take boats everywhere but it would be a cool little vibe this is almost giving me cfd cfd's nba 2k collab hmm? 
All right, loading sense in this submission. Oh, oh, Fred, baby. I like to see Vince Carter on the cover, man. This has to be like a legend edition or something because you have to have a current player on the current edition. Ah, but legend edition, we got to put some legends on there. Uh, we need some more Vince Carter representation in NBA 2K2. Uh, I'm just saying, listen, I've played the series over and over again. All games, fellas. We need some more Vince Carter representation. All right, NBA 2K22 wreak havoc. Uh, <laughs> my dick is already pretty wet, fellas. Introducing NBA 2K22 legend athlete Vince 15 Carter. I've never heard him call that before, but we'll rock with it. New affiliations introducing the brand new My Park Editions. West Side Shooters. 2K would never, ever, 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 ever put a court that says shooters. And he gives a photo. Which one is this? This is the Tropical Twisters. I get the old city vibes with the, the merry-go-round in the back. A lot of lights. You can see it's on a pier. There's probably sand in the background. I like it. I like it. And here we got I wish you showed like a city in the back, but I get it. There's a wall, there's graffiti. I have never in my life of ever being a part of this 2K community ever seen a concept back in a day like a West Side, really West Side 1700s vibe. What if there's a sign that said black people are not welcomed? <laughs> the all new web. Our new and improved attribute system, the web, is the most unique upgrading system in 2K history. Earn token upgrades in the my player mode and upgrade to your choosing. But be careful because one upgrade can expand more of the web. So this is more of a traditional RPG approach. If you played Assassin's Creed and like, you know, those basic RPG games where you web out into different do you want to be more tech? Do you want to be more assassin? Do you want to be more, you know what I'm saying? The problem with things like this, more balance related issues. And it's difficult to commit to one way and then go backwards after the fact. But there are also workarounds for that. Not shooting down the idea here. We got the shooting web over here, the dribbling web over here, finishing web. Can you imagine like you web out and it's like as you 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 have this, you achieve this achievement right here and your Euro steps are like 15% longer strides on your Euro steps. Can you imagine if it got that detail with NBA 2K? dribbling here and you web out over here 15 percent higher likelihood of getting ankle breakers this right here would more so either complement or completely replace like a whole bad system and honestly i wouldn't be opposed to 2k really webbing out a system like this but it'd have to be really detailed like really really detailed and there's the hoodies the tops the gucci off white adidas that's fire the pants, the hats. I like how simple this system is. I actually really fuck with this. I'm not gonna lie to you. EA kind of really popularized the panel type systems early, like in 2014. The industry has been kind of moving away from this because they like to just try new things just for the sake of trying new things. But this UI is clean. I like it. And then here's the 9, 26 release date. 9, ah, uh, pre-order now. NBA 2K22 Legend Edition. Vince Carter on the cover. And I'm telling you right now, let's not overlook this. This cover right here is Fire! Thanks for viewing. Follow on Twitter, loading the go. Fire. This is an incredible cover. This is a top tier. This is a 10 out of 10 cover, guys. 2K should really take this and deadass make it the legend cover on NBA 2K22, regardless of anything else. That's how fire this cover right here is. I'm highly impressed with not only the ideas you brought forward, which were actually incredibly creative, but your ability to put it together visually. This right here is a 10 out of 10 piece of work. Hey, this is a finalist, man. Let's see how far it makes it. P-Hour Full has the next submission. NBA 2K22, support appreciated. D-Rose on the cover will be fire. I'm not gonna lie to you, especially given how he carried the Knicks into the playoffs. <laughs> Something about like zero accuracy makes me feel good about this right here. It don't make any sense that there's a basketball court in the middle of nowhere, but does it look pretty? <laughs> yes, it does. And I swear to you, bro, that's all that matters. I don't know why. This is giving me serious NBA ballers phenom vibes. The second game they dropped on the PS2 with these columns right here, this almost feels like a my court. Like if you had a penthouse in your crib and this was the my court with a whole bunch of like really Coliseum type vibes and you're looking out into the clouds, this is almost like a Armageddon last day type of, cause the sun ain't out. It's just dark clouds and the sun is shining through them. It's low key a little bit depressing, but it's cool. And then the volcano vibes. <laughs> Hey, I like the creativity, P hour. So when I tell you guys that like 3v3 Prime has so much potential, it's because not only can you create a leaderboard system that's very simple that would support people actually trying, you can make tweaks to the, the current ranking system so that people are actually incentivized to want to hop on and play. But then instead of playing in the same facility, this is what I'm talking about. This is a guy who just got in Photoshop and put this together. Like just have random locations, boom, boom, and boom for us to play in. This right here is really, really practical. It's a matchmaking system 
and you click on a menu, you match make, and it throws you into one of these places where you can play. Just like any fighting game, you're playing a fighting game and it throws you into a random arena to play in. The arena itself is irrelevant to the game. You're playing the same game. It's just the aesthetics are different. P hour, I enjoyed your submission, man. Thank you. One of many concepts for agents competition. So my reasoning behind this is the boats in the back are at war with one another, but during the war, your screen would be shaking and moving as if your my player was actually there with the explosions, etc. That'd be a really cool park event. Do you see the, <laughs> he deadass put a ship, he put a boat, he put a whole ship in the background. You can see a John Morant like character doing it between the legs. He even got the characters on the got next spot. You love to see it. The sand, the fences, the rocks and the water. I like the attention to detail. <laughs> Hey, well, I do dislike the idea of the random environment impacting the actual game. This could deadass work as a park event, okay? You made a video? Okay, Ando AXPSD. I feel like I've heard of you before. NBA 2K22. Oh my God! Welcome to the NBA 2K22. Damn, you put copyrighted music in it. First up, we got Brute the Bull. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready, yo. I'm not ready, though. Okay. All right, guys, I'm ready. If what I'm about to see right now is that he went into a 3D program, created all of these, the animations, the cameras, I think he did. I think he did. I can see from the tank right here, the tank has basic textures, which means it was likely created by him or at least imported into this world by him. Damn, I hate that you put copyrighted music on this because I'm gonna have to play over it. We got the almighty Maximus III represent. These are the different affiliations. <laughs> you know what I like about what I'm seeing so far? Aside from the actual mind blowing fact that he created a video, aside from that, I like the fact that he's actually using the NBA 2K21 next gen affiliation. So it's, it's practical. Like this is something that 2K might actually do because he's incorporating what already exists into an idea that he had. And he fully built it out here in this video. <laughs> what am I watching right now, yo? He animated these guys too. Hey, I've tried doing 3D animation before. This, what he's doing right now is incredibly challenging. God, I literally have goosebumps. Is it gonna show? I have goosebumps right now. Hey man, how could you not have a smile on your face watching this video right now? Do you see what's happening? The community has came together. And this has nothing to do with money. I don't, it has nothing to do with money. It has to do with, there are brilliant people out there with ideas, concepts, and talents. And in a one week span, this guy right here put together not only a UI right here that looks clean, by the way, is giving me serious NBA 2K16 vibes, but a fully animated with cameras, animations, billboards, and different affiliations that 2K could practically use. I thought I'd seen it all, but this right here is actually fucking mind blowing. And he said the full project is right here. Okay, so it's not even done yet. It's like, I, 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 <laughs> hey, well, let me get some more. <laughs> Here we have Jason Tatum, NBA 2K22, uh, 01 introduction, NBA 2K is a basketball. Okay, all right, I think this is a winner. There's gonna have to be something crazy that comes after this for this not to be first place. I'm gonna be dead honest with you because I'm blown away right now. It's small things. There's different font. The fonts of on a game or on anything, on ads, on anything is a very important thing. People spend tens of thousands of dollars developing their own fonts. This is the most readable font I've seen out of any of the submissions so far. And I know that seems like a nothing thing to you, but that's a very important thing to the readability of something. And he even got that right. I'm talking about attention to detail right now, fellas. And he... <laughs> hey, let me get some more. Let me... <laughs> There's no way he took the 2K's Twitter page and updated it for what it would look like 
on the promo they're gonna do for the NBA 2K22 concept of his. Are you out of your fucking mind? My career, here's the UI that he showed us in the video. Fire. Western Wildcats Park. You can see the city in the background. I think that looks that looks like New York. Here we have the North Side City Knights Heights Mites. And it actually gives you like North Knights vibes. Like a knight is prehistoric. It's giving you those, there's a castle in the background. It's actually more historically accurate. He had to do that, but he did it though. Here's the South Side Vipers and the Beast of the East. Beast of the East is, is a forest on fire which in my opinion this is an incredible aesthetic and the south side vipers in my opinion it, it's like it gives you like they're in the amazon with the wildlife what the f man i'm blown away literally i'm I'm blown away right now. Oh, he day recreated these. He went into a 3D program, created textures and then brought them into Photoshop and then gave it life. Step one, step two, step three. So this is what it looks like in the 3D program before textures. This is what it looks like after color and this is what it looks like after photoshop <laughs> oh my god to me right now that is number one place I, I was going back and forth on the previous ones but i don't see how that gets beat how does that get beat okay here we got miles hey guys i put together a presentation for agent contest you can check it out in the link below say less say less say less nba 2k22 graphics by miles this this thumbnail is incredible right here you know how i just mentioned previously that vince carter graphic was incredible this is something that i genuinely believe 2k should literally just steal 2k pay this guy and just take this right here this is how good it is this is 10 out of 10 material so far next i had to come up with a park idea so i started off by psych introducing agents park <laughs> and yo he put me right here <laughs> That's hilarious. These are all my profile pictures. This is my profile picture on most of my platforms. This is my old profile picture right here. This is my Twitter and my second channel right here. These are some thumbnails right here. Uh, he put agent in 3D space. <laughs> my channel on the billboard. This right here is hilarious, man. <laughs> This is my favorite video I've recorded in a while right here. This is it right here, man. This is one of my favorite videos I've recorded in quite some time. Unfortunately, there are no hoops, so it's pretty much useless. Boy, this isn't going well, but I have yet another groundbreaking idea. Introducing Agent Carr. Hey. <coughs> Ride Agent for as low as 700 KVC. That's a bargain, by the way. I also made this cover because it corresponds to the gameplay. And here we have Ronnie2k dribbling. Well, it looks like a, a paper ball into a trash can in his celebrity game appearance. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. I know he was playing, but the creativity was funny. This is good content right here, no cap. Miles, thank you for spending your time doing that. That genuinely made me smile, and I bet it made plenty of other people smile too. Here we have NBA 2K22 concept for Agent in Egypt. First of all, this looks great. This is a little out of proportion in that either the pyramids are way too small or the court is massive but the attempt is valiant. This has actually been done before too, because in NBA 2K3, I believe, if you clicked on the street mode on the PS1? No, it was on the PS2. You can actually select Egypt and they would actually have pyramids in the background. Did y'all know that? NBA 2K22 right here. And the aesthetic is really dope. The sun is right over the horizon right here. Here are the pyramids and here is basketball. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to look good and be a different environment. Throw some 3v3 prime right here. 3v3 prime, throw it right there. Why wouldn't you? What's the problem? Why wouldn't you? It's such a simple design. The, the background really doesn't affect the gameplay at all. So it won't take the art team much to just design some cool stuff in the background. Okay, here we have Mind of Melly say NBA 2K22 concept. Here we got console wars. The event is called console wars where you play against different console players. Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, Stadia, and PC platforms. It's actually a very interesting mode. I've never thought of a cross-platform mode like that. The likelihood that this goes off smoothly, though, is literally 0%. Literally 0. 0% 0 chance. Oh, loading into Lava Island. I kind of like how much lava steam things there are. Hold on now. That's not a little bit fire? Literally. The fire is the out-of-bounds marker, right? So if you step on the fire, you're out-of-bounds, and the court is about to be engulfed in flame. There's actually a level in Tekken 7 that looks a lot like this, and then on the final round of that level, it actually breaks apart into a different level altogether. So the level itself is dynamic. Depending on the round, it'll change the background. NBA 2K22 concept of what looks like Jon Snow, is that his name in Game of Thrones? It's been a minute for me. When he was protecting the wall, this is where he was right here. <laughs> 
I like it though. Old school style, a little grungy vibes. You can see Lonzo Ball right here. Attention to detail is dope, man. It really is. The vitals, you can edit your My Player head presets, scan your face, straight on sculpting, profile sculpting, features, hairstyles, facial hairs, tattoos. This is a very clean UI. Very, very clean. Oh, he has a whole link. Okay, so here's his concept. Here's the cover. That's a glorious cover. But man, y'all are body in today. <laughs> I sort of, hold on. <laughs> hey, this is incredible. Uh, PlayStation 5 and Xbox One. I don't know why I'm picking your thing apart with my new details. My bad. Xbox Series S or X would have been valid, but whatever, who cares? 2K, y'all actually don't have to pay nobody to do cover art designs because in this video alone, you've seen three to four designers who have done better work than the last few covers y'all have put together. The Lava Island, here we got the Medieval Park. Okay, this is very reminiscent of NBA 2K17 for those who remember. The wins and losses, in 2K17 it actually even told you what rank you were. You were rank 5,100 in Sunset Beach. And it tells you which awards you get. Okay, I like this. You like to see it. Rookie, Pro, All-Star, Superstar, Elite, and Legend. And you have the chance to abandon your park if you want to. Your affiliation, should I say. The Black Mamba Mania. This sounds like a park event. To honor Kobe, we made an event called Black Mamba Mania where you can get up to three times level VC and badge points while playing the event. To win the event, you must have the amount of 500,000 points. The winner gets 1 million VC in a Black Mamba Snake. I think honoring players who have passed away in park events is just a win-win, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a feel-good thing, it's good PR for 2K, and I think mostly, just about all of y'all would like to participate in something like this. Might as well. I like the little design you made for the badge here too. Like a broken up ruby in, in red, that's fire. And you have like a generic ass my player in crispy detail right here. <laughs> Pick your affiliation, stay loyal to your 2K22 affiliation and get a jump start on your level. Up against a brick wall, cool aesthetic, your overall, the different takeovers you've chosen from, your badges. This is what the My Player Builder would look like. It actually shows you the progress you have until you hit the next level. Sunset Cove, and he actually designed the park in the background while he gave us an idea here. This is this is like Chernobyl vibes here. Wouldn't that be a fire idea? The Bully Boy Park? Uh, and we got the Got Next here, and it's just large fences and abandoned areas, but yet here's a clean park. I love when just, just like a juxtaposition of what makes sense and then the environment. So for some reason, that just makes me happy, especially when it looks aesthetically pleasing. Face paint tattoos, I don't mind that. Clown face, the Pennywise face, Joker face, Purge face. That would be kind of cool. Whether 2K could pull it off, I don't know, but I feel like a lot of people would be into that if they had some kind of face paint. The future is ahead, 9-6-21. God damn, there's so many finalists. I, I'm, this is gonna be one of the most difficult decisions to choose from. Dashie's Burner put together this submission, intro featuring Phantom and Chris, background music by Agent and no, no, don't, no. No, no, mm -mm. I'm gonna mute it. I don't wanna hear me rap if that's what you're about to do. You can load straight into your favorite game mode, which is a feature that should exist in every 2K with our new mode preference feature. New community tab, create, join, and manage your clan. Level up your clan together and earn rewards. I think a good clan system would do numbers for 2K, no cap. Okay, it's loading in. What's about to happen? use this song, man. For those who don't watch AMP for some odd reason, NBA 2K22. No, not me. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm already cringing. Okay, thank God. I had to mute that. I had to mute that. Okay, so we got some NBA 2K22, NBA 2K22 UI. Uh, for UI purposes, it's a little difficult to see the top, but I like the, the style you're going for. Story mode, part, rec, pro-am. Venice Beach Ballers. Support a creator would be fire. Private Park would be fire. Rucker Park, Rough Riders. Replay mode. Oh my God, yes, please. 2K. These are things that we've been asking for for a very long time. These three ideas right here. A private park that you can load into your friends with and nobody else can join. Private servers. My court can serve as that. Please, 2K. Listen, I've been saying it for years. My court can serve as that. Make sure the camera's fixed. There's been a lot of glitches with the camera and give it more space. Make it a full-size My court so it's not one of the mini courts. Support a creator would go dumb and a replay mode would be incredible for everybody. I swear, bro, please add a replay mode. You guys literally already have one. It's just only available for dev. So just give us access, please. And as we load in, this is NBA 2K17, NBA 2K16 loading screen. <laughs> 
Uh, as it lags out. That's also NBA 2K16 lag outs. <laughs> Hey, Dashy Burner, I ain't actually expect nothing out of you, man. I'm not gonna lie. I thought this right here was gonna be some hot trash. But as I clicked on it, man, thoroughly impressed. A lot of good ideas here. All right, so these are the finalists. Here we have Keyshawn, who, as I scrolled over his page, by the way, is fucking 14 years old. <laughs> yo, yo, this is a 14 year old put this together. What am I doing with my life? At 14 years old, he put this together? At 14 years old, I was struggling to create just weapons, like, and people, just anime, simple animations. The kid designs came up with the city concepts. You could hop in New York, Atlanta, Chicago, Florida, Toronto, all of that, Boxing Arena, Volcano Island. Here we have Toasted, who's the reigning champion. He was out here with the NBA 2K Resort idea. Loden came up with the really creative web RPG idea with a lot of nice little designs, old city vibes. He had the different affiliations. P hour was a lot more simple, but it was 3v3 park ideas, 3v3 pro-am type ideas in my opinion. Just aesthetically pleasing backgrounds and some basketball to play. He had a few of them. Boom, boom, boom. Axe PSD really blew us away here with the UI, the video, and the animations of all the different affiliations you can choose from. Miles came in. <laughs> I don't know how this made it. This is going to be an honor honorable mention here. <laughs> and then Melly came up with all of these designs, console wars, the volcano lava island, the medieval concepts. This is a clean UI. This is actually probably the cleanest UI of anybody on this contest. Okay, let's just go with the top three. That's the easiest way to do this. Twitter limits like how much you can see. Once there's enough replies, and there was a lot of replies to this post, it, it just cuts off. I wanna know who made this right here. Cause this would be in the running. All right, so this is how I'm about to do it, all right? I wanna make this as fair as possible, and I wanna reward these people for being magnificent pieces in the overall NBA 2K community. I think so much we focus on like negative stuff that happens, y'all forget just how often incredible stuff happens in this community. And I want this video to be an example of that. Every honorable mention, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh is getting $100. Hopefully I get a sponsor on this video because we're throwing out extra bones. That's how happy I am right now, fellas. Because not I didn't in my wildest imagination expect this type of response, this type of creativity from everybody. But let's get into it. Third place is Keyshawn. Hopefully I'm saying your name correct. He's 14 years old. He went into a 3D program to make this magic happen right here. It's, it's simple. It's clean, it's a good idea, and it's something that 2K can, and in my opinion, should implement into the game. And at the end of the day, that's what we're looking for. This is the type of person that like is gonna grow up to be like an incredible member on any art team for a AAA dev, I'm telling you. I like how the anti of the NBA, it all just looks like it's professionally done, and that's the most impressive part to me. It doesn't seem like he overdid it neither. The, the problem with NBA 2K, and that they finally solved in this next gen version of the game, is that they overcomplicated things. There's way too many polygons, so the game wasn't optimized. Now look, there's not too many polygons going on right now. The design is pretty simple, so any console should be able to run this experience very smoothly. I, I think a combination of how clean it looks, how practical it is, and the fact that he went into a 3D program to make it happen leads me to give this the third place award. Second place is Loading. I think Loading Submission just kind of had the overall package. Not only to me is this the number one cover art that I've seen in this entire video, but I love that in every affiliation perk that he created, that he was able to implement the players in it and almost gave it like a first person or third, should I say in this instance, a third person POV. But more than anything, I was really just impressed with the concepts that he came out with. I'm not gonna lie to you, I really want 2K to put serious thought into coming up with one of these more traditional RPG approaches to NBA 2K. I think if done correctly, this can be great for the game. You can have a diverse player so you're not stuck on one thing, but it gives you options. You feel like you always have room to move around and do something different with your player. I don't think 2K would ever pull the trigger on an idea like this if they can't find a way to monetize it the way they monetize the current systems. But this concept right here has me thinking, and I feel like it's something that 2K should put some serious thought into. I like how simple and clean the panel type UIs are. And overall, I think this is just a good overall package from Loading. He had some good ideas. He was able to execute and illustrate those good ideas in Photoshop. Congratulations, Loading, on the second place. And the first place award goes to Axe. What he did here in this video was nothing short of incredible. This is a testament to just the level of innovation and creativity that's in there in our community. He created a, uh, an animated UI. He had moving cameras. He had a parking, he had multiple park environments, all with animated mascots and players. This is 
just absolutely, and I mean absolutely impressive. He even added like visual effects in here to like throw back and forth between the different parts. And not only that, the park ideas he came up with were great. This looks like some place Beast of the East Side, East Side will play in. This looks like what Northside City Nights Heights might should look like. In the middle of an Amazon jungle looks like where the Southside Vipers should be playing in. It fits the theme to an already existing idea and it does it better. If this was actually implemented into the game, I think people will really like it. But I want to give a huge congratulations to these honorable mentions. I think the kid designs ideas with the ranked unranked was fire. He gave different park event ideas like the boxing arena I thought was fire. Those environments with the subway in the background was fire. Of course, Toasted was the reigning champion. He came out with the resort idea. Man, wow, it is so difficult to choose from. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is difficult. Melly came out with his own creative concepts with the console wars, you know what I'm saying? The lava island, the medieval Jon Snow, medieval vibes. Man, I'm a happy guy today, fellas. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully someone over there at 2K watches this video, because there were some amazing ideas and concepts dished out. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.